gentlemen, thanks for tuning in again. This is Model Tech Reviews. I am Owen Art, and I'm glad to present you another video on uh, Hobby Designs products. Uh, this is a really interesting kit, actually, that I also got um, from uh, my last video. Uh, I did a, uh, a review on the uh, Skyline GTR for the Mines Company. Um, on this video, we're going to be talking about the Varus, Varus Lancer Evolution X09 version from uh, a company called Varus Japan. Um, they are a very uh, good company that makes uh, aerodynamics for uh, many applications. This one in particular is the Lancer Evolution. Um, and they call this one, I believe, is the Lancer X Evolution 10. Um, for you guys who don't know uh, the vehicle that very well. Uh, for those of you who do know, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's go and do this uh, a quick review. Um, I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum this time. My last video was pretty long. Um, so, and I hate doing the editing and uh, it's just a big uh, hassle to upload them to the servers. It takes a long time. So I'm going to try to do this and, and go by this really quick. Um, let's go ahead and unbox it. Um, so once again, this is Hobby Design, uh, Lancer Evolution uh, Aftermarket Accessories Kit. Um, so basically what you need is you do need a donor kit. You, you uh, need the Aoshima uh, Lancer Evolution Kit. That's uh, what this is based out of. So it's meant for the Aoshima version. Um, Tamiya does not have one. Uh, Fujimi, I believe, does not have one. Um, I think Aoshima is the only one with the Evo 10s right now. Uh, now, once again, let me put this out there. Um, Aoshima is a uh, has been a company that's been around for a long time, and um, I had a really hard time uh, trying to find the donor kit uh, for this. So uh, I went to all my local hobby shops here in the states. Uh, I live in the state of California, and uh, I've talked to uh, millions, thousands of people already, um, and could not find the donor kit for that. Um, I went to my local uh, hobby shop here. Um, I know the guys there pretty well, and unfortunately, um, I just received bad news that um, at this time they're not going to be importing any of those kits, or uh, for uh, for the time being. So, hopefully, that changes in the future. Depending on the market, we just don't know. And uh, this is one of those stuffs that a lot of people, uh, a lot of, th I'm sorry, this is one of the hobbies that a lot of people are not, you know. Um, uh, wasting their money on right now and it's understandable um uh, like i said i've been a modeler for a long time i have a passion for this so if it's available i'm gonna get it um so let's go ahead and uh take this out and uh, let's start off with um uh the front bumper to this let's get a close-up on that All right, so uh, not that bad. Again, like I said, this is not, it doesn't seem like racing to me, uh, the racing material. Uh, sorry if I'm um, butchering the, the word there. Um, it's more of a plastic feel, like I said. So this is really good. Um, big ups to the company Hobby Design. They did a really good job with the material on this. Uh, not that bad. So like I said, um, it's got a, uh, some extra uh, excessive parts here. You might, uh, you're might you going to have to sand down. Um, and uh, I mean, it looks great. This is a really cool bumper. Um, it's going to look awesome on the Evo. Um, and then, uh, so let's go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, cool. So it does come with uh, an extra set of wheels, which is really cool. Uh, it comes with the uh, Advan RZ uh, in a 19 inch setup, I believe. Uh, these are really cool wheels. Now, the thing I do like about these wheels is that. It does come with realistic lug nuts, which is really uh, hard to achieve by other companies. Um, Aoshima makes really great wheels, um, but you know, as far as the uh, the realism uh, on the lug nuts, I mean, Hobby Design scored a ten in in, in my book, so they did a really good job with that. Um, so let's go and put these to the side, and uh, let's see the extra parts in here. Okay, so uh, it looks like we get the uh, rear diffuser for the rear bumper. Let's go and take that out. Okay, it's a very simple uh, rear diffuser. Um, you know, it, it's either you paint this or you carbon fiber it out like a lot of people uh, like to do. Um, on my Skyline kit, a lot of people thought that I should have carbon fibered it. 
which I didn't. I was kind of in a rush. It was a one-week build, so I kind of rushed that build. Hopefully on this one, this is not a rush build. I'm going to take my time on this, so hopefully I get that right. Uh, and uh, probably carbon fiber. It, carbon fiber is kind of, you know, it, it's a big deal. But then again, it takes uh, a lot of patience and a lot of uh, a lot of time in order to uh, handle a good, uh, good carbon fiber on there. So let's go put that to the side. And we got side skirts. Uh, very nice side skirts. I mean, uh, you know, extra excessive parts. Got to sand those down. Make a great fitment. Uh, all in all, I mean, these are uh, very accurate. They they look really good. Um, they'll go on really nice onto the body. Um, I had no problems with the last kit. Um, you know, everything seemed to fit really well. The fitment was on point, which is awesome. Um, so I'm very happy with these kits. I mean. Uh, they're just uh, they're stepping up their game and that's that's awesome um, and this should be the rear wing uh, not a bad wing uh, you know I believe it's gonna have to uh, uh, attach this with some photo etch which gives it that extra realism you know the extra uh, real look to a real wing so that uh, you'll see on a car so which is really cool Put those parts here and uh, what else is in this box Okay, and then we got some photo etch. Uh, awesome photo etch. That's that's the you know the cake on top. Uh, I'm sorry, the cherry on top. Uh, um, and uh, uh, of all these kits, so with photo etch, I mean uh, you can't go wrong with that. It brings out the realism in the car. It stands out from everybody else. Um, if you do pick up one of these kits, I mean you'll definitely um, big points to you. And uh, I, mean, I mean a lot of people are gonna like that. So it comes with the extru instructions, two sheets of uh, photo etch. I'm not gonna open it. I'll save that for later. But it comes with your basic license plates, um, the rear wing uh, accessory parts, uh, pedals, uh, the brakes, which are awesome, the uh, uh, grill mesh. Um, and pretty much that's it. I mean, little uh, little things uh, to accessorize your interior, things like that. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, basically, that's what we got here today. Uh, just a quick little review on it. That's what comes in the kit. And I believe there's one more item in here. Um, okay, these look like uh, they're really small, so you hardly can see them. But they look like the... See if I can focus in on this. I'm having a hard time trying to focus. Okay, but anyways, they look like the uh, valve stems for the wheels. So that's going to be an, uh, a very nice touch to the wheels. Um, so that's going to be real nice. Now, it, these do not come with tires. That's the only bummer. They do make tires, but for some reason, they just... Then they then include them on here, maybe because they're special custom made, and you know they char they do charge an extra twelve dollars just for the tires, which is um, you know which is kind of tad expensive. Uh, let alone the kit by itself is quite uh, up in that dollar inch um, high price range. So um, then again, you know you get what you uh, pay for, uh, more bang for your buck. So this is a really good kit. Uh, I can't wait to throw it on and I'll show you real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. Put the kit that I got from Aoshima. Uh, okay, and this is the Lancer uh, Evolution um, Evo 10 kit. Uh, it's the Racing X version, which is cool. Uh, I got this, I had to import this from Japan. Okay, so not, no hobby stores. There's no hobby stores here in uh, California that carry this kit or that want to import them because of the price, costs, uh, what have you. Um, so basically, that's what you get in this kit. Uh, go ahead and uh, post photos of this tonight. Um, let's see if I can get this going. I uh, get started on this kit. I'm very excited, just like the last one. This one's going to come out really nice. I'll post progress on the forum if you guys follow me. At, uh, so forum I post a lot is uh, SPC uh, spc.org dot forums dot org something like that dot uk um i'll post links um and check out my blog as well i'll post uh i always post progress on my blog that's model scientist dot blogspot dot com go ahead and follow that um if you guys have any questions post comments i mean i'll, I'll go and uh, post this as fast as i can in response to all your guys' questions um anything else you guys want to know just let me know uh and hit me up all right thanks guys and until the next review this is model tech reviews next time